Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so my friend Melissa Freeman, somebody tagged her in this and then she just kind of put it out there for anybody to do. And it's basically like just get to know me kind of thing. And I like the questions on here. I've done one of these before, but I really like these questions. It just helped me get to know more about her. And I just thought it was really cute. So so let me just go ahead and do this tag. And so there's 12 questions. So let's just go ahead and jump into them. Okay, so the first question is, what is your zodiac sign? My zodiac sign is a Virgo. My birthday is actually 9-11. And I know 9-11, people are always like, oh my God, your birthday is 9-11? But I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and so I can't help it. Um, but people never forget my birthday, so that's a good thing. But a Virgo is very um, like analytical, very, they, they look... They look at your flaws, but they look more at their own flaws too. So they're very critical, but they are also overly critical of themselves. They're by the book. They're kind of straight and narrow. And that's, I mean, that's pretty much me. Like, I mean, that's pretty much me to a T. Um, but not, I'm not very critical over others, but I am very critical over myself. And I do expect people that are close to me, I hold them to a higher standard. I expect them to like have my back. Like don't let people talk shit about me behind my back. Like, you know, like stand up for me when I'm not around kind of thing. Like I have like high expectations of friends. That's probably why I don't have any. But anyway, so let's just, number two, my favorite color my favorite color is, I uh, would probably have to say black. And that's just because I like black hair. I like black clothes. I think it looks good on everybody. And just in general, like black and grays and things like that just look clean and fresh. I know black, <laughs> that's backwards. But I just like that color on everybody. It just, it looks good. Okay, number three. I've always wanted to. I've always wanted to go to California like I, I haven't thought of these questions before I'm literally just thinking of it on the spot but yeah that's the first thing that came to mind I've always wanted to go to California when I was little I thought I was going to live in California uh, that did not happen <laughs> I've stayed here in North Carolina but I just always like the vibes out there it was just very summery beachy and I'm a summery beachy person so that's just what that's what came to mind number four if you met me in person if you met me in person, it's exactly like I am on here. Everywhere I go, everything I do, I'm the same person. Um, I might act more professional at work, like in front of patients and things, but the people, like the nurses, know I'm kind of crazy. I talk a lot. Um, I've actually been told I was animated before by one of the nurses that work in ICU. And I didn't know what that meant at first, and now that I do know, I'm like, yeah, I kind of am. Um, talk, like, I just talk a lot. And so, I mean, if you met me in person, it'd be like exactly like I am here. Like, I'm a little bit tame, but then when you get to know me, I talk a lot. Uh, my real age, but I feel like. My real age is 33 and I feel 33. Like, I don't feel young. I don't, I mean, sometimes I feel older because... I sleep a lot because I'm a night shift nurse, so sometimes I do feel a little bit more aged than I have, but I pretty much feel 33. I feel like I'm not young, but I'm not old. I'm in that category, so that's how I feel. Number six, my favorite thing to do, my favorite thing to do is basically just sit on my couch and hang out with my boys. Um, I have a 15-year-old son. Basically, anything he wants to do is what I want to do. Like, I just like to hang out with him. He's like my best friend. He's kind of crazy too. And so, we just get along. And so, whatever they want to do is usually what I want to do. Which is usually, our favorite thing to do is go to the beach. So, we love the beach. When I'm not watching YouTube, I'm watching usually some kind of like a uh, reality show. Like, um... We watch the Jersey Shore all the time. I watch reruns of that whenever it's on and the new episodes. And then we um, got a fire stick. So we've been watching Party Down South. And that's a good one. And then I watch Shameless. And then I watch all the Fifty Shades movies. And that's pretty much it. Okay. My ideal mate has to have. My ideal mate would have to have like a little bit of an edge to him. I, I don't really like 
you know, like your all American, like play every sport, like Mr. Dad. I don't really go for that kind of guy. I always go for kind of like a darker kind of guy. I've been with the same man since I was 16, so I really don't know. Like, I mean, I, I don't, I just like my husband's personality. He's kind, he's got a good heart, but he can be kind of a dick at the same time. And he don't mind like telling me when I'm being an asshole. Like, I mean, he just told me that last night because I was being an asshole. So he just, he's like the perfect man. He is tall. He's got muscles. He's got tattoos. He's a tattoo artist. He's got a dark side to him. Like, I think that's why I'm so attracted to the Fifty Shades is because I really like a guy that's got like problems, you know? I'm just attracted to that. I don't know what I would do if I, like if I was with somebody who was just like the perfect guy, you know, like I need a little like spark. So that's my husband's pretty much my perfect guy. Easiest way to turn me off is by the easiest way to turn me off would be like overly I have somebody in mind, but like the type of guy who is, like, married, but then he's, like, overly, like, flirty around, like, other females and stuff. Like, I don't know. Like, just the, the type of guy that I, really turns me off is a married guy who is flirty and, like, is always picking, like, with, with women and just trying to be, like, their friend and trying to be cute. I don't, that's just as nasty. Like, if, if you're married, it's great to have friendships and stuff, like at work and everything. But if you're the type of guy who is just like all flirty with everybody, you're just kind of gross to me. And that is a huge turn off. Alright, I like to first thing in the morning. First thing in the morning is usually about 10.30 for me <laughs> because I'm a night shift nurse. And so even on my days off, I still don't get up till like 10, 10.30. And so the first thing I do is pick up my phone and just like clear off any emails and things like that. That's just the first thing I do whenever I get up. All right, number 11. If I become rich, the first thing I'd buy is the, I don't know the exact first thing I'd buy, but the big purchase that I would buy would be like, I would buy me a house somewhere in Florida, somewhere on my farm that I want. You know, we talked about it last time. I want a farm in Florida. That would be what I would want to buy. And I would also want to um, put my son in like the best MMA training he could get. Because he is super into mixed martial arts. He loves it. He breathes it. He, I mean, I watch, I'll be like looking out the window. He'll be out there like digging a freaking hole just to use the shovel and be digging. You know, like, I mean, crazy stuff like that. Like he is obsessed with fighting. So I would get him like the best training I would even move to wherever he wanted to. So I might not get my house in Florida. I might get it in like Albuquerque, New Mexico. I think that's where the training camp is that he wants to train at. But that whatever whatever my child wants, I'll do for him. And number 12, if I could be anyone else in the world, it would be... If I could be anybody else in the world... I don't really, that's a hard question because I don't want their, I don't want their life. But if I could look like anybody else in the world, I would want to look like Kim Kardashian. I mean, I just think she's like the prettiest person on earth and I just, I can't help it. I don't want to be married to Kanye or anything, but, um, looks wise, I would look like her and maybe be, I don't know. I can't think of anybody would actually want to like live their life. Because I don't want to be famous, but I do want to have money. You know, like I don't, I don't really want to be famous where like, um, you know, you can't go anywhere or do anything. I just want to have like a successful YouTube. I would be like Jacqueline Hill. She has this huge family, huge successful YouTube channel. She's the cutest thing on earth. I just think she's precious. I would probably be her. Because I want to, I like, I want my channel to grow, but I don't want to be like super famous. So I would kind of look like her and be her. I like her. So that would work. And that is all the questions. And I'll list all the questions below so you guys can do it. 
But if you like this video, you like these types of videos, let me know. I can do more. And I will see you guys in my next one. Do not forget to leave me a like and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be piling up some stuff for another giveaway. So that's to come. But anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.